Yo, what's up, everybody? How's going? So today we're going to solve the one of the very good question, which is missing range. I don't know why this question has too much dislike, but this question is pretty good. Believe me, this question is awesome, but I don't know why people do dislikes. I will go for the likes. Alright, guys. So this question is uh, a premium one, like a plus one. I think if you have the lead code premium, then you can access it. But if you don't have, then just enjoy the video. So just look at the question. All right. So what we are doing in this question, basically. So uh, in this question, we have to find the missing range. OK, so let's take an example. We have this given one. All right. If you see the uh, we have the we have 0, 1, 3, 50, 75. OK, so if you see what uh, 0 and 1, they are OK, 1 and 3. So we are missing two over here. So this is the only one element. Which, OK, it's not a kind of range. Range, what I mean by saying is just, just wait, wait and watch. Okay, so we have uh, two missing over here. So I will simply put two over here. Now, after this, we have a complete range missing till 49. 50 is over there. So we have from 4 to 49. So I will say my range is missing from 4 to 49. Okay, similarly, if you look at over here. Uh, after 50 we have again 51 to 74 the another range is missing so if you look, look at over here 51 to 74 the complete range is missing all right okay now let's take an example like uh, like we have 75 okay the, j j just uh, look at over here after 75 we have like we have lower bound and upper bound what does this mean by the lower bound and upper bound, bound means like lower means the lower value present in the array upper bound means the upper value has to be present or present in the array so like the lower value is present in this one which is zero is okay it is already present so we don't have to worry about that okay now the upper value 99 is not present in the array so what i will gonna do is i will um, create create a, an another range from 76 uh, varying till 17 uh, sorry 90 uh, 99 okay guys so we will do it like this and we'll and we will give this thing in an output if you look at over here this is our output so how we gonna so this is how we solve this question okay so i hope this thing is clear uh my eraser is today very All right no worries so i hope this thing is, uh, makes some sense so that's how i will implement my code so just look at my code how i will approach this question and you will definitely get to know all right so this is all about the question there is nothing as written over here all right so if we look at downside Okay, all the values of nums are unique, so they have to be unique. Yeah, we will do it. So yeah. All right, so we are good to go. And here we go. So what what I will do gonna do? First of all, I will create one array list in this one uh, where I will store my the the output. Okay, so I will call it as a result. For example, I will call it result. All right, so one sec, me the tea cup. Can we do? All right. Here we go. Okay, so now what I will gonna do? I will simply run and for loop, which is start from my zero and will till go my uh, my nums array. So nums dot length i plus plus. Okay, guys. So now now what I will gonna do is I will uh, simply just uh, I will make this one over here. Okay. Now what I will do? I will check if my uh, if my lower number is missing so like if you see my three is a higher number and two is a lower number between them so okay so i will gonna find that one so how i will find that one is i will say if my uh, lower is less than my nums of i then i will say if my nums of i minus lower equals to one so what does i mean by the, doing this is just wait a second and i will add in my array list I will say lower plus empty string okay okay so now look at over here. what does I mean by this line what does I mean by this line okay so my nums I if you look at over here so my nums I will be uh, like let, let's say my nums I is a uh, uh, two okay and my uh, my like, like the I, I have this one okay three so I will do so I will simply say three minus two which will be equals to one if this is one because we are adding only one value we are adding only one because we, we are not putting range we will put range later on but only if one value is missing so that, that's how we will gonna calculate it so because nums i is is our uh, this one so we are uh, we are on this one so our lower will be uh, two if if it is equals to one like just take an example like for, for example like if we have a uh, Let's say four comma six. So five is missing missing over here. Okay. So how we gonna do five is like we will simply say six minus five if equals to one. Then we will add it. Okay. That's how. That's what we I have done over here. 
I hope this thing makes some sense. So let's go back. All right, now I will create one else condition. Else, if the complete range is missing, now we are talking about the range. So how we gonna do it? I will simply say result dot add lower uh, lower plus. I, I have to put the arrow sign. I will put the arrow sign. Okay, and I will say plus nums of i. Wait, nums of i minus one okay so that's how i will add my complete range okay guys now what if uh i will say like uh i am on the 75 now i am on the 75 then i will uh just directly uh return my range but after that my complete range is missing i will work for that as well all right so in but in this for loop what i will do i will simply say uh i will simply say if nums of i we are on the 75 okay so if nums of i is equal to i integer dot max value i will simply return my result okay and i have to update my lower as well so what i will gonna do for this one i will simply say lower equals to nums of i plus one so this will update my lower okay now now i will come out for this for loop and i will say like uh if you look at over here I'm saying like I'm on 75, but my upper is 79. So from 76 to 79, my complete range is missing. So what we're gonna do for this is we will simply uh, create one if function, and I will say if lower is less than upper, then I will say what do you, what what do you have to do? You have to simply add it into the result. What what is lower plus arrow plus upper. Okay, that's how we will uh, gonna add our uh, range from the lower to the upper one. Okay, else if what if like we are on the 799, we are on the complete upper. Okay, so for that, I will simply return my lower, lower equals to upper. I will say over here, like uh, uh, result dot just add simply lower plus empty string. That's all. Bye, right, guys, and finally, I will return my result all right let me just give a quick run hit before that let me erase everything all right and here we go okay uh, is it visible to you guys and yeah the code as well so uh finally let me just give a quick wait okay yeah so finally let me just submit it and let's see boom here we go guys the thing is like why this code is a little bit slow because uh we are using for loop so the time complexity is off n and we are storing in the array list so the space complexity is off n as well so for the optimal solution uh just go uh, like i will make a new video so just you just check the new video out sorry for the disturbance so i'm saying like uh this is the like this is not an optimal solution for the optimal solution i will uh, upload the video soon so try to check the description if it is available all right uh and if you understand this question if you have still any doubt then just do let me know in the comment section if you still not understand the concept then just uh, watch the video again and till then take care guys and please like this video for which motivates me and i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and i love you guys